Good morning, friends. I'm here in my kitchen. I'm gonna make some pita bread today in a rainy day. Can't go out, so I like to bake, cook, make cakes, pita bread to have with my lunch today. So I'm gonna get started. This is a very simple recipe that you can use for anything you want. This you can. This recipe you can use for flatbreads. You can use it for little dinner rolls, you can do a loaf of bread, you can do a braid of bread, whatever you wanna do with this recipe, you can do it. Easy, we're gonna put it together in like two minutes, then we're gonna let it rise, then we're gonna come back and, and roll it out and I'll show you how to do it step by step. So I have one cup of warm water, goes in my bowl. I have one, one tablespoon of yeast, instant dry yeast. That's what I use, instant dry yeast. A lot of people confuse on my other videos what kind of yeast I use. I like the instant yeast because it's um, easier. You don't have to wait for it to proof before you put everything else in. And it's just easier for me. So that's what I'm used to use for everything I bake. One tablespoon of sugar, quarter of a cup of olive oil. This recipe needs a little olive oil because the olive oil makes the pita bread uh, moist and fluff up. So we want our pita bread to be all fluffed up and hollow in the middle. So to these, I'm gonna add three cups of flour, one, and this is bread flour. You can use whatever you have at home. You can use uh, all-purpose flour if you like, but I use bread flour because I like the way, the texture of the, of the uh, bread when it comes out of the oven. Okay, so we go like that. So right here, I'm gonna add one teaspoon of salt to this and I'm gonna mix it together to make a nice soft dough I'm gonna mix it with the fork first to get it all incorporated then I'm gonna run it on this counter I'm gonna pour it all on the counter and just knead it together for another minute or minute and a half or something. Okay, so there is a bread. I'm gonna put the fork down. Then now I'm gonna knead it by hand. Look how soft, fast, easy. It's not gonna take us long enough to get this going. So I'm gonna knead about, about a minute maybe. And I don't have a timer, but I know when it's ready. You will know too, because it's nice and soft and like baby's butt. Yes, that's what you're looking for, like a baby's butt. Nice and soft. So look at this. It didn't take long. It took us a minute. And now it looks nice and soft and all the flowers incorporated, even the one I had on the countertop over here. There you go. So, there it is, nice and soft. Now I'm gonna put it in the same bowl that I started with. A little olive oil on the bottom. Now I'm gonna coat my dough on both sides, the top and the bottom. I'm going to cover with parchment, uh, with uh, plastic wrap. Plastic wrap works great with this, keeps the heat in, and you're going to let it sit for one hour to double the size. One hour is probably perfect, so we're going to keep this on the side, and I do have one that that's, that's already Risen and it looks so good and it's nice and soft. So I'm going to show you what to do next. When this, after an hour, you're gonna get this going 
And there it is. Nice and soft and thoughtfully. Look at this. Look at how nice it is. And so we're gonna take our dough. And we're gonna divide it in like and a half first. Half again. Half again. This should make you a good size pita bread. So I have eight pieces here, eight wedges. So now I'm gonna roll this in to make little bollies with it. And I'm gonna roll all of them. And I know it's not gonna take me long. And these are gonna sit here by the time I finish the last one. They'll be ready to roll and they'll be ready to Put them on this beautiful cloth that I have over here. Bring it down so you can see what it looks like. And I already have some made for you so we can get started. By the time I finish this, we're gonna bake some so you can see what they look like. So anyway, there's, we have eight. Two, four, six, eight. So now, a little flour and we're gonna roll this out I have one of these rolling pins and when you start rolling this out you start from the middle don't start from the end because you squish the end and it doesn't puff up so start in the middle and flip it start in the middle and flip that again start in the middle and flip it again. There you go. And you want about uh, maybe an eighth of an inch. That's what you're looking for. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be round. It can be square. It can be rectangle. It can be oval. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it's gonna taste so good. So much better than so much better than store-bought pita bread. I'm not trying to put pita bread companies out of business, but I like my own pita bread. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. I have some already. After you roll them all out, you are gonna Put them on this um, a piece of cloth right here. I have a piece of cloth, a tablecloth that I use. And you're gonna cover it after you finish all of them. You're gonna cover them and let them sit for 30 minutes, 30 more minutes to rise again. And, and they're gonna look, they're gonna look just like this. Look how beautiful this looks. Look at this, isn't this beautiful? Nice and fluffed up, 30 minutes. Then now I'm gonna put this in the oven so you can see. I have my oven preheated at 500 and I have a pizza stone in there. If you don't have a pizza stone, you can use a cookie sheet upside down and um, or you can, uh, do it on the parchment paper, in the cookie sheet. So I'm gonna put my um, timer on for three minutes. That's all it takes, three minutes. And you have a fresh baked pita bread. And you're gonna see it looks so good and it tastes even better. So I'm gonna finish up this while my oven is cooking my pita bread. And um, this is good with, uh, with hummus. I made my hummus video. I hope you got a chance to look at that. And um, don't forget to visit my YouTube channel and uh, subscribe and share. So let's get the word out. We want people to eat healthy. We want people to Get busy and make things. Don't go to the store and buy things, just make them. I don't usually go to the store to buy 
If I have this stuff at home, I'll make it. I know I'm fussy, but you know, that's me and I like good things. I like to put good things in my tummy. So there you go. We have one more minute to go. And the pita bread is looking so good. I wish you can see what it looks like, but I'm gonna show you when it comes out of the oven, how nice and fluffy and hollow in the middle. I'm gonna finish this. And all of them are ready to go in the oven. And when you finish with this, bake, bake them all and just um, let them cool off and package them in the freezer, Ziploc bag, and just put them in your freezer and you have pita bread every day of the week. You can uh, take it out of the freezer, let it defrost for like 10 minutes, or pop it in the toaster, and you have a fresh pita bread to have with your lunch, share with friends. Doesn't have to be perfect. They just have to be tasty. There we go. I have 24 seconds to go on my pita bread. So let me, let me see how it goes. 15, 13, 10, 9, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yay! Look at this. Look how beautiful this looks. Nice and fluffy and hollow in the middle. Let me show you what it looks like in the middle. Because I have one here that cooled off a little bit. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my God, it looks so good. All right, I hope you can make this video, this um, bread and enjoy it with your family. I'm gonna leave you with lots of love and happy cooking, happy baking. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and share. Thank you for watching. See you sometime soon. Bye-bye.